I actually have two children. I have a son and I have a daughter. So when I initially became pregnant with my son, it was the norm for the females within the department, if they did become pregnant, that they would work about three months, give notice to the job that they were indeed pregnant, and then continue working in a capacity that they weren't working in a patrol car and they could go on the desk or do some sort of inside assignment for that remaining six months. And that's how it always was. And considering that at the time, the amount of female police officers in Suffolk was about 9% of the entire force, if you think about how many were going to be pregnant at any given time, it was not necessarily that big of a deal they were easily able to accommodate that temporary situation. And then all of a sudden, the year 2000 comes along. I find myself pregnant with my daughter, thinking the same thing is going to happen with her. And for whatever reason, the new administration decided we're not going to allow this anymore. And based on principle, I just decided how wrong this is. How could this be? in the year 2000 that a department of our size is aware of how detrimental this is to the few females that are actually on the force, and it almost discourages females to become mothers. And in our situation, as you know, Steve, it was unique because it was our child. It wasn't just my child. So when I became a police officer, you signed up to put your life on the line, but not your child. Well... (laughs) If nothing else, they should have been taking care of their own as the uh, one big family that we all believed we were with the police department. To save your money with the few pregnant females, we didn't believe that that was proper nor moral. There's a good chance they'd have to come off the payroll and then, altogether right. just f- for the fact that they wanted to have a family. So what this policy, in effect, was doing was uh, having women police officers decide, do you want a family or do you want a career? Right. You were not having both. If, in the worst case scenario, you used up all your sick time and vacation time, and then you ultimately gave birth, they would stop your health benefits, which actually happened to me when I finally did give birth to Samantha. We received a bill in the mail for an excess of, what was it, $12,000? We uh, thought it was wrong, and uh, we fought it. It was unpopular with the rank and file because it's a primarily males dominated dominated field, field. and uh, we had some support uh, there, oh, were, there were people there Thank that God. supported us my daughter was a first grader or a kindergartner by the time this actually made it to court and it was at that time six of us who pursued the lawsuit and it was one of the few cases that actually was a victory in terms of pregnancy discrimination and I'm kind of proud of the fact that that case is still being talked about and it made a difference. I never thanked you. In a public forum, I love you and could have never done this without you. Sure you could have. No. I love you too as well, my dear. 